Aerophobia. If you're clicking on this video, you probably have a fear of flying or you're just here to see me again. Welcome back. Um, I want to point out that there is a name for it. So you're not alone. Uh, it's more than just you and me. This is a real condition. Um, it is a real phobia. People have a fear of flying. And like me, um, well, some of you might avoid flying altogether because it's just too much. Uh, others kind of bite the bullet and do their best with coping skills. Um, coping skills can be things like rituals, you know, like I remember always wanting to walk on the plane with my right foot first. I would have certain rituals that I did when the plane was taking off. These are all things that kind of give your brain the illusion of control over something you don't have control over. And that's where a lot of this fear and anxiety comes from is I am out of control and I'm being shot through the air in a rocket uh, with only air underneath my feet and you know, you kind of can drive yourself nuts. Now I'll also share with you that, uh, you know, I tried other things like there was a book, uh, Chicken Soup for the Feel, there was a, a book called Chicken Soup for the Fearful Flyer Soul, it's a mouthful. And uh, it actually came with a CD that you would listen to for those of you that don't know, that's a compact disc before we had, you know, MP3s and, and, and phones and stuff we actually had to so I had my little disc man right uh, and I would listen to this and it would just basically be almost acting like a the pilot you know it, it was it was written by a pilot and he would just give you like these reassuring things like I've got control of the plane while I go through my checklist you go through yours um, and it was just very kind of hypnotic you know you just kind of listen to it uh, and it helped it helped but again it was another crutch another thing that I, I don't necessarily would refer to it as a coping skill, but another thing that uh, was a crutch was uh, medication. Yeah, like taking a Xanax, taking you know really heavy medication to just kind of help me get through it. And it was it was getting to a point where even with the coping skills and even with the medication, I was still just it was like snowballing. It was just getting worse and worse and worse. And it was, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to bring up here. It was embarrassing even to bring up to my therapist. Um, but I finally decided to bring it up to my therapist in hopes that she could maybe help me. So um, I remember saying, listen, you know, this is something that I haven't brought up. You know, we usually talk about other things like my obsessive compulsive disorder. There's a theme here, by the way. I was a scared child. Uh, I have a lot of fears and phobias that have trickled into adulthood and I'm working on it. Uh, work in progress. WIP, that's me. Um, so anyway, just a little disclaimer there. But... I said to her, I, I have this really fear, really bad fear of flying, and it's getting worse and worse every time I fly, it seems. Every little bump, every noise, everything that happens, I'm like grabbing the armrests, I've got sweaty palms, I feel so uncomfortable. And there is something she said to me that almost instantly fixed my fear of flying. And this is very strange, and I, I can't give you you know, my complete guarantee that this will work for you, but I'm hoping that when you hear that it worked for me, um, that you know that there's a chance, right? So she just simply asked me, after I poured my heart out over this fear and put myself very vulnerably on the table, she said, well, let me ask you a question. Would it be okay with you to go to the airport, um, check your bag, go through security, get on the plane, fly to your destination, get off the plane, get your bag, and go about your day. And I looked at her like she wasn't listening to me, like, I'm, I'm paying for this? I'm like, yes, that would be okay. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking to you about. Why are you, why are you saying that to me? Got, got a little high strung there, okay? I remembered that feeling just now, if you couldn't tell. And she corrected me. She said, no, you didn't hear me. Would it be okay with you to get on a plane, fly to your destination and get off and not be scared? And when she asked the question a second time, I, I took a step back and I thought, what is she trying to ask me? And I realized that she was asking me, would I allow myself to fly without fear? And I realized the answer was no. I had to panic. There has to be a reason to panic. I can't control these things. I have to be panicked. I have to have this anxiety. But but that was it. That that was this realization. 
I was choosing to be afraid of flying. I had to be in my mind, but that's not reality. I, I lost control of my own um, ability to mitigate fear and I allowed it to take me over. So when my therapist finally said this to me and it sunk in not just to my consciousness, but my subconsciousness, my subconscious mind, it, it almost instantly got rid of my fear. I got on a plane and I said, I have a choice. I can choose to panic or I can choose to look around and just see everybody else on this plane is having a fine day. It's a mode of transportation. Uh, a bump in the air is really no different than a bump in the road. One of the things that uh, I remember a flight attendant once telling me is planes are designed to take a lot more turbulence than you are. Meaning, uh, you know, you think that the turbulence is so bad, no matter how bad it is for you, the plane is designed to take more of it. It's not a something to be fearful of. Um, and one other thing I remember somebody saying to me on a plane, because I was just so panicky, you know, everybody was trying to calm me down. Not everybody, but, you know, people that I was talking to nearby. It's not like I was like, Whoa! but uh, somebody said to me, it's important to realize that everybody has a fear of crashing. Only some people have a fear of flying. And that, that makes sense. But the bottom line is, the message was, would it be okay with me? So I'm gonna then pose that question to you. Put it in the comments below. Would it be okay with you to get on a plane and not panic and just, and just get on with the flight? And if the answer is no, then you need to think, why is it not okay with you for that to happen? That that is the realization I had that I can choose to have control. And it's not a coping skill. It's not a, a crutch. It's literally, for me, it was a cure. And that was invaluable. I mean, I was going, you know, international flights. I mean, imagine flying from New York to Tokyo. I mean, it's like 12 plus hour flight the entire time thinking you're going to die. I mean, that's literally like, 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 like something is going to happen. I mean, it's, it's not just a quick flight from New York to, you know, to DC or something. I mean, it's, it's a long flight. So I was so thankful that when I was taking these longer international trips, I had this, this in my back pocket, this constant reminder, is it okay with you? Is it okay with you not to be afraid? It has to be okay with you not to be afraid. And it, if it's any consolation, like I said, you're not alone. I did this. I am somebody that deals, deals with fear uh, on so many levels. I mean, I, I have a fear of touching change. Uh, I mean, like it, it's ridiculous. But one by one, I try to tackle these fears. And uh, fortunately, in 2021, touching change is not a big deal. I mean, really, I don't use cash very much at all. But air travel is still very much in uh, everyday life. So having something to help me with this in particular was very important. And I try to check the big things off my list and, and work my way down. Um, so was this helpful to you? Let me know below. Um, thanks for coming back to my channel. Please subscribe if this was helpful. Uh, give the video a big thumbs up if it was helpful. And uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry. I post all kinds of stuff on there, mostly having to do with my family business, which is Jerry Zotorama Art Supplies, uh, but also my family and stuff and just whatever comes to my mind. And uh, thanks so much for watching.